Yeah, well, duh. It's the last day of MLB The Show 23. I've seen enough. Of course I've seen enough. You've, you've seen enough, too. All right, the new game comes out in, like, I don't know, probably 28 hours from when this video is going to be published. I got a lot coming up for 24. If you're wondering why I look like Cody Bellinger right now, um, the allergies have been just riddling me and, and killing me. I've probably sneezed about 50 times a day, and that's not an exaggeration. That's not the reason I haven't been making videos recently. The reason is all the other content creators have, have been covering news about MLB Show 24, as they should be, and I just started a new job uh, last week. So now that I've settled it in a little bit and uh, got that under my feet, we're going to be doing a ton of new videos on my channel for MLB The Show 24. I'm really excited for you guys to engage with that too. I'm going to be doing hitting tips videos. Our hitting tips video on my channel last year did great. A uh, lot of comments. I guarantee you, if you go back and look at that video now, you will still get some very, very useful tips as they did not change that much in the hitting engine this year for MLB The Show 24. All right, I'm really happy with that video. Uh, it was still in the early stages of when I was getting into video editing and publishing. So, you know, excuse any of the, if there's any misedits, it's a little long, but honestly, longer hitting tips videos usually do better and it's better for you guys to learn that way. All right, but I'll be doing a new one this year. Hop on that. If you haven't already, come catch me on Twitch on our stream. All right, we have a lot of fun over there. There's definitely a lot more going on over there than what you see on the YouTube videos. And if you're thinking to yourself, like Twitch is not one of those things I ever I was ever going to sign up for. That's like a weird gamer thing, like people who don't leave their chair or their house for 48 hours and they get, I don't know, maybe two rays of sunshine per week. All right. And they got grease stains all over their shirt and pizza boxes loaded up. I, I get the stigma with Twitch, but I promise you it's a lot more fun in the MLB The Show community on Twitch. And I've, of course, I try to make great videos to that translate over to YouTube as well for you guys. And I still hope you engage with those as well. But come join us at Twitch where you can see me interact with you guys, do cool things. Like I have this cool uh, frame now. So there's that. I'll be doing cool things like uh, putting these on the screen for for stuff when you guys follow and interact and stuff. So there's that, you know, there's other stuff. There's other stuff. Don't worry. Yes. That's awesome. But anyway, let's get into this. Now, what I really brought you here for was this. This is Richie Ashburn hitting on this is probably Hall of Fame. I cannot believe it. Oh, what he's doing, this guy in the last three games I've played with him, two games on Legend, all right? Two games on Legend, five for seven, three home runs. The very next game, he hits another home run. I, 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 that's what I mean by I've seen enough, all right? There's no way 99 overall Richie Ashburn should be doing this to anybody, all right? It's a crime. And it makes me want to remember those cards specifically because, uh, you know, there's cards that everybody uses that they're all good. The Trouts, the Ellies, the Acuna Juniors, and the J-Rams and stuff like that. And every year, the new game rolls over and we just buy the new game. We forget about the old one, right? We barely remember these moments unless we capture them on our Xbox or our PS5 or, or Nintendo Switch. And, um, you know, I think there's better ways to remember it. So a good way to get a memento from each game, all right? is to put it in a real life card like this devers card i have here all right this has my personal diamond dynasty stats on the back the games played the home runs i had with them simply because i just thought it was cool and i i love that card and i wanted to remember it all right it's a nice display sure it sits on my desk but i like having it to remember the good times i had with this card now if you want to do that and it might be a good idea to go back and get some world baseball classic cards because we're not going to have another world baseball classic for four years i know a lot of you enjoyed those cards from set one like trout uh sasaki uh you know ronald acuna we got cano robinson cano there's only one of those cards all year trey turner jt all those guys so head over to my etsy shop the link is down below in my description i can make these cards for you customize them we got everything from new to old specific parallels that you want and you can do your custom stats on the back or i'll just put the players attributes on the back as well so for me once i figured it out i think it was cool to do it for you know, I'm going to do it for Richie for sure. I know I'll be making myself one of these guys. I know the batting average isn't stellar, but I do do custom stats on the back of these cards if you want. If not, I will just do the player's attributes on the back. So that's the default back. All right, it comes in a holographic finish or it comes in a standard finish if you want that too. It comes in a cracked ice parallel as an option and there's pictures on the store to show you what those are. All right, you can buy a hard case with it. Otherwise, it'll come in a protective penny sleeve and a top loader what you see when you get a normal baseball color. 
Um, it is laminated. Uh, it has it is a cardstock thickness, so it's like an actual tops or bowman trading card uh, i don't know if i could say that but it really is the same thickness and protective plastic laminate um, on top of the card so it doesn't get scratched up or the ink doesn't smudge and stuff like that all right the card stock is not waterproof but the front and back are waterproof um paper so if you do spill on it, it should be fine and i can do any card from this year's game 23 mlb 22 the show and mlb the show 21 and of course when mlb 24 comes out like I said, in 30 hours or so, you'll be able to order those as well for any card that's available in the game. So that's it. That's all I wanted to do for this video. Make it quick, show you guys what I have to offer. Like I said, I'll still be doing these videos regularly. I know we fell off a little bit towards the end of the year, but I started streaming a lot more on Twitch. So hop over there if you want to see me more. And I'll still do about two to three videos a week here on this channel. All right. Thank you guys for your support again. And stick around, join the Twitch if you want to be a part of a give. I might do a giveaway for these cards once we get rolling in 24. So make sure you do hop over to that and hop in, uh, you know, whenever you feel like it and say hi. All right.